I click the links for Gab Bitchute Odyssey Coffee Discord. Avoid the Discord and uh, join the channel for a uh, to get an icon in the uh, chat and all that. I am crowdfunding a pharmaceutical and lady boys of negotiable affection crowd fund for me myself. I'm crowdfunding myself. So Mags gets five thousand dollars from Soy Boys. I respect the grift. No shade at all. The power of being, you know, almost it makes it sound like, almost makes it look like you're crowdfunding for a, like a charity for something else. Kind of weird. But no, you're crowdfunding for yourself, for your own rent. Um, the power of being a grifter. The funny thing is, the alt-left kids on comic Twitter say that comics get grifts because they sell comics. Period. That seems to be it. Comics Gate sells comics and mails them to you. And, you know, most of the time you get what you paid for. How is that a grift? That's just capitalism, I guess. So um, here's the deal with comics. If you are new to this, um, you don't know what's going on lately. Over the years, comics have been taken over by crazy people. Soy boys, purse puppies, and work girlfriends. Uh, you can look up the milkshake photos who have mostly never read comics in their life. Comics became nothing more than anti-white misandrist hatred, like real race-based hatred. Comics were hiring people who actually out and out, openly and notoriously, hated men and people of European descent, which was like most of their audience. This is a real weird business model. How's that working out for you? And uh, over the past few years, sales have kind of switched from American communist comics to Japanese manga. Now, Japanese manga is really good. You should check it out. It's, I never thought I would say that, but it's made by Japanese people for Japan and for the rest of the world. Um, they don't put out comics about how much they hate the Japanese or how poor the relationship is between uh, Japan and the Koreans or the Chinese or something. They just put out product that entertains they don't try to educate you because they don't feel that they're better than you where american communist comics seem to feel like they need to talk down to you the whole time like you're begging for money on the internet and you're talking down to people something's not adding up here in american comics every antagonist is blonde haired blue eyed and every protagonist is a privileged purse puppy person 90 percent of the story is english man bad or sometimes they'll have a bunch of women who look like skinny dudes run around it's hard to pay attention to women writers because the estrogen comes across the page and puts you to sleep so the comics go for like five issues and fail then they get rebooted and fail again it's freaking bizarre gee another blonde motorcycle gang who's actually running la dear comics people maybe read a newspaper get out a little bit more White gangs do not run L.A., Chicago, New York, St. Louis. Um, they would; those cities would be way better off if if they did if they were run by those guys. Way way better off. Anyway, I can't believe you said that. Oh, gee, there's been another deletion in Chicago. Yeah, you can go on YouTube and follow some uh, like Detroit, Chicago, um, CBS. You know the news sites. Literally every day, literally every day, and it's not blonde hair, blue eyed. Um, Germans of the 1930s who were doing it. We all know that. Anyway, comics got so bad that uh, Comicsgate had to come along <laughs> and just made their own comics. That is a hell of an accomplishment for Comicsgate. But it was made possible because of how hateful the mainstream comics were. Mainstream comics actually hate the customer. Comics Gate was like a fresh rain in an old, tired forest. It's like a, I don't know, like a, a douche commercial or something. And here's the thing about Comics Gate. The stories were solid. I read Jawbreakers, Lone Star, Iron Sights, uh, even Cyberfrog, and wondered why these guys weren't working for Marvel, like, the whole time. Well, I know uh, What's-His-Face was working for DC, but, like, this Richard Meyer guy, it's like, he's a nobody. He's unheard of. He's just... He's just some guy in the corner of the YouTube. It's like, oh, you can actually write. 
shouldn't you be knocking on his door saying, "Hey, we'd like you to do a special for us, or just a, some kind of something for us. We want to get your want to get you into the industry somehow in some capacity." I'm assuming that hasn't happened. Um, it it seems like they're overlooking this uh, this huge ta- talent pool. Like, oh, Clint Stoker with uh, Sweetcast or Downcast. So like he's on his third comic now, or fourth comic, because he did Fatal. Um, why didn't you go call up him? Is he too fat? Is he too bald? Is he the wrong uh, demographic? It's like he seems like he seems like he'd be perfect for Marvel to try to get some fresh blood in there. But you know he he doesn't he doesn't fit the pot. The, he has he, those people in comics gate have the wrong politics. Um, in mainstream comics, you can be Jewish, Muslim, atheist. Christian or any Christian offshoot is very much uh, verboten. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Mainstream comics wanted to get away from their audience, which was mostly a European male demographic. So you think, okay, well, fine. The fastest growing population in America is the Spanish population. I would go out and grab the Mexican audience. But Mexicans aren't exotic enough for them. They're way too mundane. They're like, they don't, the SUWs don't quite know how to treat Mexicans. They're like, what are they? Are they POCs? Are they purse puppies? Or, or not? It's like, they're the fastest growing demographic. You better start selling to them and, and start to uh, habla espanoling. Um, so they, they skip the Spanish crowd entirely, and they jump right to the black crowd and various Asian groups. Now, the black crowd, you can kind of understand a little bit. It's like they're a big chunk of the population. But Asian groups in America? Well, we're going to sell to the Korean town. Uh, okay, listen, Chinatown, L.A., okay, fair enough. There's some, but, like, just run the numbers. The numbers don't add up to make them characters, mainstream main characters. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't add up at all. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that they analyzed the markets very carefully and looked at the numbers and found a huge audience that wanted to see themselves in comics. LOL, no. And while yes, I do know some black dudes who read comics, it's still very much a male thing. Um, chicks may read their brother's comics or their boyfriend's comics, but reading comics and going out and paying for the comics. That's a whole different psychological burden. Uh, try to get people to give you money um, in any capacity, and you realize it's a real hump to get over uh, to to cross that uh, to cross that Rubicon. Uh, reading something for free is not the same as going out and spending money on that. Ignore who says they read comics. Look at who buys comics. The buyer was probably 80% European male. You'd have to talk to somebody who works in a comic book shop. And if you know, if I was in the industry and analyzed the industry, I would just go on my Saturdays and just just go set up, get a chair, and just watch watch comic book stores and see who is buying the product or do a lot of interviews with the sellers. But like they don't want to do that because they know what the answer would be. The answer is not not what they like. There was a con where some sellers were getting together and they were telling people. Like, yeah, this this diversity isn't working. It's like they were immediately attacked on Bleeding Fool. Immediately. It's like, well, wait a minute. That has a chilling expression uh, effect on a, on a valid feedback if you're just attacking us and calling us istophobes because we're telling you who who does and doesn't buy comics. I'm like, the swapping out characters isn't working. It's like, oh, well, John Smith of San Francisco Comics is now a wrong thinker. You should burn down his shop. That's basically what was happening. Um... This is a problem for the industry because the industry hates uh, people of European descent. Like I know it's it's weird to think that way. It's, it's but it it is what it is. It's like these phrases have to become commonplace. But those are the guys you have to please. You can't make them the bad guys, and you can't make a little Middle Eastern girl the protagonist, especially uh, uh, nowadays. That that's just not gonna fly. Uh, there goes the demonetization, uh, which brings me to Mags, a person whose books that I have I have all read, which is an awkward phrase. I've read all of their books. Um, now people hate Mags and say that they only got there because of purse puppy status. Fair enough, but I don't know if Mags can create or not because they never really tried. Everything is the mad at their dad they didn't have and a depression energy. Massive, massive amounts of brutal depression. 
And let's be honest here, who doesn't know what that feels like? So I don't hate mags, I feel sorry for them, or I have a lot of empathy for them. But the problem is that they write propaganda to an audience that is about a thousand people. They have 40,000 followers on the tweeters because of their purse puppy status. But they have a very soft fan base, a very shallow bench. There's a sports reference. I don't follow sports at all. They are subbed because Mags is a crazy person who is sort of a token virtue signaling mascot for them. Or, and this is the important part, I don't know why I buried the lead at 10 minutes, was a mascot for them. They're no longer um, so important. The problem is, Max just grinds the same fake diversity keyword, buzzword, pop culture, acts, uh, and I, I, I am I am trans, except nowadays, who isn't trans? Everyone is now trans, transsex, race, and species even. People have created trans PTSD because we live in a clown planet run by jokers, until we form militias and set things on the right path. <clears throat> Flat style. Once the rules of the causal universe go out the window, then nothing matters. If everyone is BLT, then it isn't special. It doesn't have any value anymore. You can't get by as a BLT when half of comics is now non-binary and goes by they-them pronouns. And like, uh, let's keep it real here. Uh, you bang chicks... So, like, you're what exactly? A biological male who who banks chicks. And, I mean, in the old days, of, like a year ago, we used to just call those long-haired dudes. I had long hair. You know, it doesn't... I Like, that's... Like, that doesn't exactly... People are having a hard time understanding this whole thing and, and not seeing it as... Um, someone kind of just wants attention. Uh, anyway, so in the world of comics, you're instantly trumped by a Vitor Alala who is non-binary. Uh, in the Oppression Olympics, African beats Italian. And the BLT ca cancels itself out, if you remember your algebra. So now Mags is sort of screwed. Hey Mags, I am a woman of color also. And part dragon. Are you part dragon? I didn't think so. Anyway, so comics are doing so, so well. Mags, Jim Lee, and James Tyrion uh, all say that things are cool because Japanese manga is doing great. If you're wondering how Japan and American comics are connected, then you're not alone. Comics are doing so great that mags can't pay for their rent and kitty litter. Now here's the crazy bit. Uh, they threw a GoFundMe for Zerself, and it's totally f effing working. They raised $5,000 overnight. People would rather pay mags to not write than to buy their dog poop comics. That's how bad mags' propaganda depression quest comics are. I think even mags was shocked by how much people would pay just not to have to read another Kim and Kim and maybe be guilt tripped into buying it. And I've read all of it. And like I said, like every comic I think can be, every comic that I've read and people have sent to me uh, can be improved. It's like if you're playing music and you want to learn how to play music, well, you, you may never be uh, Buckethead or you're never going to be Buckethead or Slash, but you, you can play better than you're playing now. You can learn and play songs. Like you might not be Slash. But you can play. You can put songs together. And, and, like, whatever comic you're putting together now, it can always be improved. If you, like, you got to find your, align your chakras, meditate, find Odin or Jesus or whatever, and, and like, take, okay, say all this propaganda that I'm carrying, I'm going to put it aside for now and just go to the core of the story. And every time I start to slip in propaganda, I'm going to go back to the core of the story and try to write a classic story well. Here's the thing with, with stories, and it doesn't matter if it's comics, books, or movies. The Really, you want to start with doing simple things well. Uh, like in music, it's, um, you know, if the if the chords are like the, what's that whole song, make... Uh, make me love her, I'm all I want to be. It, it, e, C, G, da -na, da -na, da -na. You hear the song, it's like, okay, get a metronome, figure out the timing of the song, and play those chords in time and in tune. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do that well. Do that simple bit well, in time, perfectly in time. Do the simple songs well before you start to try to go out there and do like some kind of weird jazz chords or something. Tell simple stories very well. Make your characters matter. Make your characters cool. Make people like your characters. If you write Cam and Kim, I would go back and... Sh uh, they wrote uh, three five-series episodes of Kim and Kim. Go back and look at those characters. Like They're not likable characters. They're, they act like sociopaths. Uh, uh, like, go back and read that very, very carefully. Go back and very... And, like, don't... I'm going to be punk rock, man. No, first play... Get Tune your instrument. Play in time and in tune to the metronome learn the simple simple structure of like if it means you play an e chord 10,000 times to the metronome in time that's more important than just trying to do like some ad lib stuff it's better to get the basic structure down kim and kim is like you're trying to do this these jazz chords that don't make sense and the, the instrument's out of tune and it, it's out of you're not even in time and you're in the wrong key and everything's all messed up it's like just Tell a basic story well. Master the basics. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, support my crowdfund. I don't have a crowdfund, but you can join the channel for a dollar a month and get a, uh, a shiny icon, which I don't... I guess it's not really good for anything, but it'll get you a wrench in the chat, so you can swear, I guess. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next episode.